Let's talk now about how a process, how a process's address space is actually used. So if we if we look at our process, and again, let's say we're going from zero to uh, n. So what we have is our, our code, and that's often called text for historical reasons. So that's the code. And that is usually of some fixed size. Okay, so this goes from let's say zero to p for some p. Uh, I say often fixed size because sometimes you could have a program that allows dynamically loaded modules and things like that. So that gets to some sort of little more complications. What else do we have that's a fixed size? Well, we have our globals. Okay, so all of our global variables, and that's often just called data. So we have text, we have data. What else do we have as far as how a process uses a memory? So we see the code, we see the globals. Well, where are the local variables, for instance? They're in the stack. Stack we know grows down. So we're gonna go ahead and start the stack way up here. So the stack is gonna start growing down. And then we also have dynamically allocated memory. So anything that gets malloced, for example, that is part of the heap. And the heap is growing. So if we kind of look at the stack here, the heap is growing up. So we think of the heap as you malloc and malloc and malloc and malloc, it's using more and more memory. Uh, the kernel does not provide a system call for malloc. Okay. Instead, what happens is the kernel has basically this heap, and you could just ask for the heap to get bigger. So you can move this frontier of the heap, and it's up to you to sub-allocate within this heap. So malloc is actually a user library that will go ahead and, if necessary, call to make this heap bigger. So the heap we have growing up and the stack we have growing down. This is kind of nice uh, because uh, well, it's nice until they hit each other. That part's not good. But until then, this is good because they're not interfering with one another and they're not causing any frag fragmentation. Just a reminder on the fragmentation, we have two types of fragmentation. So we have the external, so which is between allocated memory blocks. And this is a problem not just for, let's say, placing processes into memory. It also has to do, for instance, for this heap. You're doing a bunch of malloc's, which is allocating memory, and then you may have this external fragmentation uh, that occurs but because the pattern of allocations and deallocations that you've done means that there are some, is some non-contiguous space. So this is always a problem where we have non-contiguous space. Non-contiguous free space. And what are your solutions? Um, well, one possibility is move your blocks around, right? So readjust things to make the space contiguous. The problem is, if you do that, any pointers you had into old memory locations, if they've moved, uh, are a problem. On Mac and Windows, the solution to that, when memory was back so tight, uh, back in the day, was you never stored, you rarely stored a raw pointer to an allocated piece of memory. You stored a pointer to a pointer. And then when this movement happened to cause to coalesce free blocks, it updated the pointer to the pointer. So if this was a block of memory, this is an allocated block, you didn't store a pointer to it. So this is, let's say, uh, you know, your global variable. Instead, you had a global variable 
and that global variable pointed to a pointer that in turn pointed here. And then if there was a need to move this block, the memory, man memory manager would go ahead and update this pointer for you. Okay. Uh, just as a historical note, this was called a handle. Possibly you'll see that in some old code. So a handle is a pointer to a pointer, basically. Uh, then, then the internal fragmentation is unused space within allocated blocks. So there, uh, you, if you're basically over allocating, creating a block larger than you need, then you're causing internal fragmentation. Uh, and a fix to that is just don't use fixed size blocks. We will see this external fragmentation. We have an approach that is going to do some fix to that, which has to do, which is, is segmentation or paging. And we'll get to that shortly.